and those deaths are pushing our hospitals to their limits. The leader of the largest health system in Arizona is bringing in backup right now to help with the number of deaths. Our Carissa Planup joining us live and Carissa Banner is preparing for this situation to get worse. Yeah, here at Banner UMC in Phoenix, they are using a refrigerated truck right now, and it's clear that leaders are prepared for this situation to get much worse. We're told there's a second refrigerated truck that is on standby now at another Banner facility. These deaths have caused us to exceed our morgue capacity at some of our hospitals. Banner Health's chief clinical officer, Dr. Marjorie Bessel, says hospitals are turning to refrigerator trucks as they run out of room to store the dead. Banner reporting exponential growth of COVID-19 hospitalizations, a 93% increase last month, and a similar increase in just the first two weeks of this month. There was concern that this may go to one week and then to four days over the Christmas holidays. Bessel says nearly half of Banner patients are COVID positive and more than half of their ICU beds are occupied by a COVID-19 patient. Numbers like these, Bessel says, could impact care for everyone who needs it. When healthcare systems become overrun, patients will suffer higher death rates. This could mean the car accident victim, the heart attack victim, the stroke patient, or the child with a severe asthma attack. One of the few bright spots in Bessel's message today was about the COVID-19 vaccine. Bessel says a couple hundred healthcare workers got the shot yesterday at the Banner site, with one suffering a side effect of hyperventilation. According to Maricopa County officials, 11 people suffered uh, some minor reactions when receiving that COVID-19 vaccine yesterday, but those reactions have been described as anxiety-related. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.